So instead of applying each style item individually to the elements that we're creating, we should think of creating a class and associating it with that class. We, and then in this class, we can specify all the style attributes that we want. And we can do this using the attribute method that D3 provides, and that's just written ATTR. And it takes in two arguments. It can be used to set any HTML attribute. So the first argument would be the type of attribute we're trying to set, and the second would be the value we want to set it to. So in this example, I've just got a bunch of data and I've bound it to this unordered list and created list items for each of them. And I've also created a style here to set the color to red and the text to capitalize. So if we want to apply this class to each of these list items, we can call the attribute method first. And as the first argument, we pass in the HTML attribute we're trying to change. So this would be class. And as a second argument, we would pass in the value, which would be the list item in this case. So we would just write that in like so. And now the style has been applied to each of these list items and they're red and have capital letters. In this example right here, it would apply the class of container to each item within this selection right here. So now we look at the challenge and what we have is we have a bunch of data that's been bound and assigned to create some div elements and we need to apply this dot bar style which is a 25 by 100 blue bar to each of these divs that are created and to do this we would first call because we already have a selection here we can just call the attribute method right here and pass in as the first argument class which is what we're trying to change and the second argument would be literally just the class that we want to give it so that would be bar and now it's what it's done is it's created lots of individual tall bars right here. They're just put together so they look like a rectangle. And that should be all we need to pass the test. So I'm just going to run it now. And yeah, that's worked.